Hey, good evening. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Okay, at 7 o'clock, we'll get the meeting uh, started. Uh, call the meeting to order. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The Republic, which you stand. Which stands. One nation. Under God. Individual. Thank you. Ask uh, Alderman Ricky Hammond to lead us in prayer. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for this day and for the many blessings that you have bestowed on us. Father, I pray that you continue to bless and guide this board in everything we do. Lord, I ask that you watch over our citizens and employees of this city and community. I pray for our sick, our military, and all our frontline workers in this pandemic. We love you, Father, and we thank you for your word, your mercy, and your grace. In Christ's name, amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Let me remind everybody that uh, we're having this meeting pursuant to Executive Order <clears throat> number 16 issued by Governor Bill Lee. Uh, permitting local governing bodies to conduct meetings electronically and extended by Executive Orders 34, 51, 60, and 65. So with that, uh, Mr. Recorder, will you call the roll? James Baltimore? Yes. Edward Burks? Here. Coach Cole? Here. Megan Gilbert? Here. Mayor Holden? Here. Ricky Hammond? Here. Mary Claire? Here. Dennis Moody? Here. Madam Will? Here. Thank you all. Thank you. Next item on the agenda will be approval of minutes. I entertain a motion to approve the minutes from November 16, 2020. So moved. Yep. I have a motion from, I think that was Willie Cole, and a second from Edward. Is that correct? Yes. yes sir. Okay. Mr. Court, you'll call the roll. James Baltimore? Yes. Edward Burke? Yes. Coach Cole? Yes. Megan Gilbert? Yes. Mary Holden? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mary Claire? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. Renata Well? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business? <coughs> okay, next item, new business. Our new business, uh, you'll enclose the first item under new business is a debt obligation form for sanitation truck lease. Uh, we have talked about this numerous times. It was included in our uh, budget that we passed. This is a requirement of the comptroller's office that we share this with the board. We don't need to take any action on it tonight because it's been approved <clears throat> already through uh, the budget process. But this is just information for you, and we will submit this to the comptroller's office and get approval from them, and then uh, we'll be well on our way to buying those vehicles. Anybody have any questions about this report? Mayor, this is Edward. Uh, I noticed in 2023 there's a balloon payment. Is that a true balloon payment, or is that just interest rate adjustment? Do we know? No, that's at the point where the trucks will be traded back in. Okay. <clears throat> so we won't ever fully pay it because the trucks will be traded. We'll okay. need new trucks at that time. Right. Okay. Okay. Good question. Any other questions? And that's Steve Anderson. He is with us here as well this evening. Any other questions? <clears throat> okay. uh, I have the original of this. We'll send that in tomorrow to the comptroller's office and uh, get the ball rolling on that. Uh, next item on the agenda is the attorney invoice. Your attorney invoice was attached. The amount of the attorney invoice was $8,680.75. I'll entertain a motion to approve the attorney invoice for October. So moved. So move. Second, motion Mary Claire. Uh, motion for Vanetta, second for Mary Claire. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Scott, if you'll call the roll. Discussion? Discussion? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I've got a question. Uh, I okay. noticed the 
attorney's invoice in there for the last three months, August, September, and October, is, is close to $18,000. I know we're having to defend the appeal. Do we Can we get a status on that? What's happening and when is it going to happen? I know it's going to the Court of Appeals, but uh, I didn't know how much longer uh, before it's actually going before them. Edward, I'll, you know, I'll ask that. I'll ask that question to the attorneys and ask what the status is and see where we are on that. And I'll okay. be more than happy to report that back to you. Okay. Thanks. Yes, sir. Any other questions? All right. Motion and second. Mr. Cord, you'll call the roll. James Baltimore? Yes. Yeah. Edward Burton? Yes. Coach So? Yes. Yeah. Megan Gilbert? Yes. Yeah. Mayor Holden? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mary Claire? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. Madam Webb? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The next item <clears throat> on the agenda is bids. Greg Williams, that's the last sheet in your packet. Uh, there are four of these on here. Uh, the first one, I'm, I'm going to ask um, we get motions and seconds and hopefully approve that. Um, not that we have to, but because it, they were not included. The first one was not included actually in the budget process, but this is for the airport. Uh, it was funded 100% by the TDOT Aeronautics Cares grant that we received $69,000 for, uh, which this is no cost to the city of Dyersburg. It's a grant that was given to General Aviation Airport across the state of Tennessee, and uh, that's our portion that was allotted to us. So you'll see with that, we uh, bought uh, tractor, battling more with that, with that money, and we traded in uh, existing tractor and battling more that was previously acquired by another aeronautics grant. So um, anybody have any questions about this? Okay, I will entertain a motion to approve uh, person this for, for the airport for the CARES Act. So grant. move. I have a motion from Dennis Moody for a second. I'll second, Vanetta. Okay, I have a second for Vanetta. Any other questions? Okay, Mr. Cord, you'll call the roll. James Baltimore? Yes. Yeah. Edward Burke? Yes. Coach Cole? Yes. Thank you, Gilbert? Yes. Mayor Holden? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mary Claire? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. And Vanetta Webb? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you. The next item uh, under bids, number two, for the police department, uh, five police pursuit SUVs uh, to replace aging fleet vehicles. We budgeted $183,000 in this year's budget. Uh, notification given was none. We utilized state contract, uh, received bid from Columbia Dodge, 187,963.20. You'll notice $4,963.20 came out of the drug fund. So we approved the purchase of the vehicle for the budget. We also approved the drug fund use in the budget because we're using it for this, uh, this additional money to buy these vehicles. I just think a, a motion would be in order for us to do this. So moved, Edward. Second and motion. Edward Burks and second from Let's go. Let's go. Any questions yes, about sir. this? Okay, Mr. Cord, if you'll call the roll. James Baltimore? Yes. Yeah. Edward Burks? Yes. Yeah. Coach Cole? Yes. Yeah. Megan Gilbert? Yes. Mayor Holden? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mary Claire? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. Another way up. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, and items three and four were both uh, budgeted for in this year's budget. Uh, number three for the gas department, number four for the water and sewer department. Any questions about those? 
Okay, moving on. Uh, next item is a report from Alderman. Mr. Baltimore. Uh, Mayor, are they still paving? Um, I need to check with Mike McCullough about that, see where we are. Okay. I, I will find out. Okay, if you don't mind, I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, sure. Edward? Yeah, I was just interested uh, what the status of the East End of Mall Boulevard paving was, whether we're going to be able to get it this year or uh, if we're not, can we at least look at striping the double yellow line down there at night and on rainy rainy times? It's it's hard to see that line. It's really faded, and you got four lanes right there. And I think for turning it, it could be uh, hazardous. Okay. Edward, this is Scott. Uh, we yeah. got email from TDOT last week that uh, we had been approved for the NEPA documents and have moved into the design phase of it. Um, the contractors that we've contracted with, AECOM, uh, should be sending us next week the design packet uh, to send back into TDOT. It will not get paid, obviously, this season, you know, before hope our goal is which would be the first project coming out next year. Uh, as far as getting striking on that road, I could get a price from uh, Trout Mark and a couple more people just to see, maybe just put the uh, the organic paint on it, not the high vis that's got the... Right, just paint. something to get through the winter and end the get next the year. Winter, yes. I, I will do that tomorrow. <clears throat> Okay, thanks. That's all. Yes, sir. Thank you. Did you call me? Go. Yes, sir. Yes. I uh, just want to thank the mayor for uh, taking part in the food distribution at New Macedonia Church uh, a couple of weeks ago. Appreciate you coming out, Mayor. Thank you so very much. Thank you, and I appreciate uh, the pastor there and the church for all they've done to assist folks in our community as well. Done that for several months. and. Uh, Always good to see that, and I appreciate being a part of that. Thank you very much, Coach Cole. Megan? Hi. I'd just like to report that the uh, the Equality with Accountability Committee is uh, having another forum this Thursday at 5 p.m. The topic is policing. So both Chief Isbell and Dyer County Sheriff Box will, be, uh, will break up our panel. And the Facebook is facebook.com slash equality with accountability. Thank you. Thank you. Ricky? Uh, yeah, Mayor, just in case we uh, we don't meet again for Christmas, we'll wish all of our employees and the board a, a Merry Christmas. Safe Christmas. Thank you very much. Mary Claire? Uh, I'd like to thank you, Mayor, for taking care of the comptroller uh, paperwork for the sanitation truck lease. I know Greg Wilson and his crew on sanitation are looking forward to getting those new trucks. Thank you. Dennis? I don't have anything. Thank you. Okay. Vanetta? I have no report. <clears throat> let me mention you. Mayor. Uh, yes, Mayor. All right, let me ask you, uh, are, y'all gonna, are we going to do anything for the city employees for Christmas? James, we've talked about that. Um, obviously, we like, we like to coordinate things with the county. I know the county is not having a Christmas party. The judges aren't having a Christmas party. It's awful hard for us to get together and have a party when we're supposed to be social distancing and reducing numbers of people. So I don't think at this time we are going to have anything for Christmas. Oh, okay. I don't know whether you're going to give them some kind of little bonus or something. <laughs> we, we haven't discussed it. We certainly can. Uh, of course, we didn't budget for that in the, the budget this year. Okay. Okay. Um, See, so just a couple things I'd like to announce. Uh, first, uh, just remember today is Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, uh, December 7, 1941. Uh, 2,403 Americans were killed in an attack on Pearl Harbor. And I uh, just remember those that uh, uh, lost their lives or families and uh, just think, all of uh, our veterans and those serving today to protect us for our freedom. So I just want to mention that. <clears throat> also, the police department uh, uh, was selected by the International Association of Chiefs of Police to participate, to participate in the first ever nine-month officer safety and wellness learning collaborative 
uh, along with the Department of Justice and Education Development Center. Um, so we're excited about the selection of that uh, for our police department. Also, a couple items about the chief. He was selected or been appointed by the IAC, IACP president to serve on the IACP Violent Crime Policy Council with the Firearms Committee. And also he was appointed uh, by the Tennessee Commerce and Insurance Department uh, to serve on an advisory council that will work collaboratively to help ensure Tennessee's law enforcement agencies receive the best training to respond to the evolving needs of law enforcement and community policing. So we're uh, certainly thankful for the police department, the job they do, and being selected for this. And congratulations to the chief on uh, this appointment and also um, his other appointment as well by ICP. So with that, um, we are adjourned. We'll find out the questions, uh, the answers to those questions about uh, things asked tonight, and we'll get you some information about that tomorrow, Wednesday. So thank you. And, uh, have a good evening. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.